Okay, FAQ number 99, we have Mosaic Law versus Old Testament Law. Okay, what's the difference? This is a good question. Um, the, basically, the, the idea here is the laws that were given to Moses that the Jews lived under back in the Old Testament there, but there were other laws that were given before Moses showed up, and those laws there, do they apply to us today? What a, is there anything in the Mosaic Law that applies to us today? Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, start at verse 7, I think here. It says, Who goeth a warfare any time at his own charges? Who planteth a vineyard and, eateth, vineyard and eateth not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? Talking about a pastor there ministering about holy things, you know, and, um, and being paid for that. Verse 8. Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth God take care for oxen? Or saith he altogether for our sakes? For our sakes no doubt this is written. You see it there? That he that ploweth should plow in hope, and that he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope. Okay, and it goes on to talk about how that you should pay a man that is in ministry. Okay, if... if you know, a man is laboring eight or ten hours a day to, pro to provide scripture and sermons and things to make the Bible make sense. And you say, oh, that was great. And you just have to go out and work now for a living and do that, you know, work eight hours a day preparing sermons and answering people's questions and, and studying and researching the Bible. And then go out and spend eight hours a day at a secular job someplace to see that's not fair. You know, um, it's like the I mean, it's kind of funny that the Bible compares a preacher to an ox. It's just kind of slow and steady, you know, and just kind of plodding along. And he's plodding along, plowing the field, and he looks and he goes, oh, there's some corn on the floor. Or not on the floor, but on the ground there. And he leans down to get it, and you're like, hey, you're not allowed to eat any. Well, that's not very fair, you know. I mean, if you're, if you're using the ox to plow the field, and he's getting food for other people, shouldn't he be allowed to eat some, some of that food for himself? See? And that's the way it is for a preacher. You say, but it's in the Old Testament. Yeah, but it's for today. You say, but it's even in the Mosaic Law. And Paul's writing it. It is written in the Law of Moses. Yeah. When you go through the Pauline epistles, you will see where Paul refers back to things that are under the law. Okay? And things that are in the Old Testament. That still apply to today. I've talked about this in my different studies and things. There are different things that when you read, you know, the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning, right? There's a lot that you can learn from the Old Testament. You don't always apply everything to us today. I'll give you another good example. Um, the thing of clean and unclean meats. Now, that's back under the Mosaic Law. Do we have to follow it today? No. Why? Because in the book of Acts, the Lord shows to Peter, hey, he lets down this you know, curtain-like thing there, and, and there's all these clean and unclean animals in there, and the Lord says, Arise, kill and eat. Peter's like, Not so, you know, no unclean thing has ever come into my mouth. And the Lord's like, I've cleansed it. You say, Well, that's just speaking symbolically about the Jews are kind of the clean animals and the Gentiles are the unclean animals. Well, that's there, but it also is actually a physical thing because you read in 1 Timothy, let me check my scripture there just to be sure I have this right. I always get this one messed up. Is it first or second Timothy? Yeah, first Timothy chapter four, talking about verse four, for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Any animal out there you can eat now. There's no such thing as unclean meat anymore. See what's going on there. God undid part of the Old Testament law and part of the Mosaic law. See? But here's the interesting thing. If you go back and you read the laws that were happening there before Exodus and God spoke to Moses and things like that, those Old Testament laws that were there before Moses, every single one of them things still applies to us today. And of course, if you go back there into the early part of the book of Genesis, you'll see that God commands them not to drink blood. And you go to Acts chapter 15, I think it is, that again, they're commanded not to drink blood for New Testament Christians today. And it's also under the law as well, by the way. So there's a lot that, that's going on back there in the Old Testament. It still applies to today. But the Mosaic Law, you have to be careful. There are some things that do line up 
there are other things, you know, we don't have to keep the law in other, you know, in, in our lives to be saved. We don't have to go to the synagogue on the Sabbath day to be saved. Uh, you know, God's not going to drop any Christian today because he picks up sticks on the Sabbath day. So you compare these things, you see. Um, so uh, you know, it's why it's so important to read the Bible in its proper context, dispensationally speaking, in other words. And you look back at the Old Testament and you say, okay, there are certain things that are there. Um, you know, and, and let me say this too. Uh, one other thing and I was thinking there, and just want to make this point here. Um, uh, uh, seeing where I should start here. All right, I'll, I'll start here in verse 17. Galatians chapter 3, verse 17. And this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul, that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Okay, it's talking about the Ten Commandments essentially here is what this is talking about. Now there's a lot more commandments in the Old Testament that they had to follow. But it's mostly talking about the Ten Commandments. And it's saying if you could keep the Ten Commandments, then righteousness would come through that. But of course nobody could, so righteousness had to come through Jesus Christ. Verse 22. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. All right. So again, the Mosaic law there, the Ten Commandments, you look at those Ten Commandments, most of them can apply to us today. Again, you go to Romans chapter 13, verse 9, those commandments are listed, but keeping the Sabbath day is not one of them. See, the Sabbath day is given for a sign of the Jewish people, you know, the nation of Israel. It's not for today. So again, you, Scripture with Scripture, brethren, that's how this thing works. Um, so it isn't just a simple thing for me to say, oh no, the law is done away with. There's no more law for today. Well, no, it doesn't work that way. Even the Mosaic law is still for today in the sense of bringing you to a point of understanding you're a sinner. That's still there. Uh, but then there's also aspects of the law, like we read about in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, talking about not muzzling the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. That's in the law of Moses, and it's still for today. So when you see things you know, that are clearly spelled out, okay, there's no more clean and unclean animals. That's been done away. Okay, you can say, all right, that part of the law I won't pay attention to. Don't eat this and don't eat that and, you know, whatever. I won't pay attention to that anymore. But something like muzzling the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn, you know, pro providing for preachers and things, that's under the Mosaic law, but it's still given as relevant to today and important for today. See, just giving you a couple examples there. So, hopefully that will answer the question. Um, if it's not clearly canceled in the Pauline epistles, then you still should be keeping it. Okay? Just not for salvation. Something like the Ten Commandments. All right? That's there to convict you of the fact that you're a sinner, but you get saved by faith in Jesus Christ. You don't have to continue to keep the Ten Commandments, uh, be faithful unto death or something like that. So, hopefully that will answer the question.